guys, how you doing? It's People Another Ninja, and guys, we're taking a special look at the preliminary patch notes for late November 2012 update, also known aka as the Bacchus update. I just used as twice in that sentence. But no matter, guys, Bacchus is amazing. He does not need grammar in his name. So guys, Bacchus, um, I just want to highlight some of the things of what I think he's going to be strong in and what I think he's going to be weak in. And again, this is all part of theory crafting. And if you guys heard the term before, theory crafting is just an idea where you see the mechanics of the guy, you see the damage, you see the cooldowns, you see the mana usage, and you determine and you know, you you see the utility of the god and you kind of determine if they're going to be strong or overpowered or not. In the case of and here, he has a stun, a slow and a jump all on about 10 to 15 second cooldowns and if you combine those three no other god in game has that combination that triple threat and so that's why Anne here is so strong but Bacchus I believe is still going to be very strong he is going to be a hybrid tank he's going to be more hybrid Ares is kind of a hybrid tank in that you know he can swing you can get a polynomicon but he really Ares really benefits from having magical power but Bacchus what his passive and what his number one skill both do is really buff his physical power for a long time. So we can see the passive as Bacchus drinks from his, dr drinks from his drugs, um, drinks from his jug, he's going to get more intoxicated. He gets magic, da uh, not, excuse me, not magic damage resistance. He gets pure da like damage, like mitigation completely, 5% or 10%. And then again, he gets 20 plus 40 physical power. Very good stuff. 20 or 40 physical power is nothing to laugh at. That's the difference between hitting for like 46 and like 76 or even 86 damage. It's like ridiculous. Um, so... Bacchus takes, so for his first skill, Bacchus takes a drink from his jug, um, and I keep calling him Baca, but his name is Bacchus, filling his drunk meter 22, 28, 34, 40, 46%, giving him a huge physical power buff at the later uh, later game for 6 seconds, so very, very powerful, but I just want to bring your attention to two things on this, is that, look at this, his mana cost, 170 for level 5, that is ridiculous. Ridiculous. That is going to be a huge mana drain, and you're going to constantly be having to chug. And with this, I think the skill meditation, you're going to absolutely have to take meditation with Bacchus. You can try to supplement with mana pots, but I do believe that meditation skill is just going to be worth it. 600 gold off the bat, you get passive mana regen, and you get that 75% mana gen rebuff. And it's going to be on a 90 second cooldown. They're changing it. All skills are 90 seconds. So you'll have unlimited mana is the bottom line if you get meditation. So I think that's going to be a must with Bacchus. 15 second cooldown. That Again, this is a really long cooldown. Most other gods get cooldown reduction as they level up, but 15 seconds flat, that is ridiculously long. Um, so he might benefit from a Fatalis or uh, Chronos Pen, depending on if you're going magic or physical. Again, he's going to be a pure hybrid, hybrid kind of tank, and I'll explain why. And so the second skill, Belly Flop, and he does a pretty substantial amount of damage, 250 at level 5, plus 70% of your magical power. And here's where you can kind of either go physical or magical. If you go magical, this is going to boost your damage. You get that Rod of Tuhudi, you get an additional 100 damage on that skill. But again, this is on a 16 second cooldown with no cooldown reduction as you level. So this is going to be huge damper. You're most likely going to get much more damage off of swinging your hammer or swinging that giant turkey leg that he has. And so again, if you're tipsy, the enemies are slowed by 30% for 3 seconds, guys. 3 seconds is huge. So Piri Bees are going to have a much greater effect now that the cooldowns... Uh, I'll go over it later down, but the abilities are going to completely change too. But so now he has a jump and a slow, and unless the enemy has a dash, they are out of luck. But if, even if they do dash or jump away, you have this third skill, guys, the Belch of the Gods, does 80 damage, plus 15% magical. So not huge magical power boost here uh, for every 0.5 for 2 seconds. But if you're a tipsy, the enemies are stunned for 1 second, and healing is debuffed by 50 per second for 3 seconds at the end. Great against any physical gods with life leech, and again, great for any gods that just heal like Hell or Hades or Guan Yu or even Cupid uh, for that. Well, Cupid's not a very good healer, but still, it matters. And so, <laughs> 14 seconds. Again, that cooldown is ridiculously long. So, 
while these skills themselves are very, very overpowered, barely flop and belch of the gods, that long cooldown is almost rendering them kind of useless. There's about a 25% extra cooldown, longer cooldown. Uh, usually it's 12 seconds at level 5, so that is really going to affect how you play and how soon you can spam your abilities. Because if you belly flop in, the enemies slow, they're going to jump away, then you kind of get them with the tip of your belch of the gods, you get that stun. But can you have enough physical power to finish the job? And my guess is if you build a physical Bacchus, the answer is yes, or if you have your ultimate, and this is where I think Fatalis is going to be really, really powerful. I'm going to equate Bacchus's Intoxicate with an ultimate similar to Wukong because of that huge area of effect around Bacchus himself. But look at this, 550 damage at level 5, plus 70% of your magical power. Not a big deal if you know, you're know you getting a 20% cooldown, then you're essentially getting 20% extra damage. Um, but not at one time. It's over average, but averages can be can be bad. And uh, I I'll go into that a little bit later when I talk about the nerfs. But magical damage slowing them by twenty percent, eight seconds. Are you kidding me? Who has a slow for eight seconds? That is ridiculous. Um, I think the winged wand will be much more useful just because of this skill. So if you're fighting Bacchus and you're a mage, you might want to actually invest in that winged wand just because he has two slows. One is ultimate for eight seconds. And again, if Bacchus is smashed, not tipsy, he gains huge physical power boost. Look at this, 95 physical power boost because of his lost mind. And that's going to be really, really powerful. And I kind of have an idea that I've seen people in the video, the Bacchus reveal video, that if you're intoxicated, you kind of move left and right. So I wonder if you can strafe, coordinate your strafe, so like when you move left... Um, if you can kind of push yourself left and then all of a sudden spin around 180 degrees and kind of strafe right to see if you can get away further. And uh, again, I'm going to try this when I do, uh, when Bacchus is released sometime this week. I'm guessing he's going to be released either on the 19th or the 20th, Monday or Tuesday. So hopefully that is so. Uh, guys, that's my thoughts on Bacchus. I think he's going to be very, very strong. And depending on if you can exploit his intoxicate where you can kind of strafe away if you're really skilled, because he goes in a very predictable pattern. Um, you go left and then you go right, you go left and then you right. You can kind of boost your speed, I think, unless you're centered around your still center point. I, I don't know if that's, that's the case, but we will see how this works. And so there are some general features. They are going significant in changes for Arena Conquest and in match item store and separate first one but let's start with the first one guys um so conquest and arena modes now start with a god ban and this is going to be awful this is can, can you say troll let me tell you a story about trolls so trolls are real i was going to my home one day on the internet and i was crossing a bridge and guess what i got ganked by a troll and this is exactly what this is going to do because the top player on each team has been going to be given the opportunity to ban one god so this means that <laughs> I'm going to be banning Bacchus if I'm on the first of the list. Just kidding. I'm going to try Bacchus out at least like, you know, five, ten times or whatever. And then I'm going to start banning him so that no one else can play him. Um, guys, this is a troll move. I don't know why they would do this. And so this is not a good idea. I think this is, should only be implemented in ranked matches. But I don't know why they're bringing it to all normal matches. I, I don't think that's a smart idea. I think everyone should be able to play every god in the normal match. I think this is be, should be a ranked match only process. And I totally support. But I don't know. We'll see what happens because of it. And so uh, parties, after you kill an enemy, after you pub stomp, whatever, you get broken up after the lobby. So now... You have to now. Your actually your party remains together even after you win the match. And friend relationships, guys. You now have to have consent to the friendship, guys. And you also have to buy them dinner. You have to hold hands and you have to go for long walks on the beach. And so then you guys can finally be friends. So this is managed all from the social menu. Cool stuff. Um, they changed up a tab for recommended items. So I don't know. I never liked the recommended items to begin with. And now separate first one of the day bonuses for Arena Conquest and Joust. So you guys, you can get 300 favor for playing maybe like 30 one hour probably one hour of gameplay if you get all wins um and then you just you know get 300 favor for the day very very good i play a lot of arena myself just for the extra favor right now arena has the highest favor rate you play 20 minutes and you win you get 50 favor you play conquest for 50 uh 20 minutes you get about 34 to 40 favor with a win and so it's it's arena's faster and quicker for me at least and so methodology for seeding has changed, so your ranking is going to be changed. I think they just need to rehaul the entire ranked 
match in the whole ranking system because I've seen people that are much worse skill, have much less wins, uh, much more losses with higher ranking, like like 3,500. And I'm like, okay, there's a huge flaw in that. And so... Um, and now Arena and Conquest matchmaking is now a five-minute matchmaking timers. Again, I'm, I don't know. I don't really like this because if you get queue locked or, you know, if someone leaves the queue and you get, you know, they desert a status, blah, blah, whatever, guess what happens? You get knocked with the entire five-minute wait. But I guess originally you were just waiting five minutes anyway, so it's going to be either pretty much on par or slightly better. Um, unless you have a lot of levers, and unfortunately you do have a lot of levers in that queue. And I think they should really revamp the lever system. I don't think it should be like a 10 minute penalty, but I think you should take away some of the favor that they have you know, have stashed. I mean, this can go super negative, and I think this would be a good remedy. Just because, you know, that got the goodwill bonus, it's, it's like you get extra favor. So it's not really like you're losing anything when you go from 100 to 0. Even though you really are, you're losing out on 30% of your favor. But... If you rather, you know, just take away from the stack of favor, let's say they have 8,000, you take away 30 each time they leave a queue, or, you know, they take away 50, and if they desert a game, you take away 150 favor, people will not want to leave anymore, um, even though that favor is free and you don't really need it. Um, maybe high-ranked players, if they queue like 40,000 favor, some people have, then they'll just leave anyways if it's a really bad system, but that's fine, 150 favor out of their pockets. That, that, I think that's fair. I think that is more... Uh, detrimental and that makes a huge larger impression on the player rather than you know having this like goodwill bonus and you lose it and you're like I don't care I don't I don't even know what goodwill bonus half the people don't even know what goodwill bonus is on the game they just see it's oh 100% it's probably a good thing and they probably see it gives them extra favor but not sure how much and so now challenge queue for arena if you want to go try hard mode in arena all the power to you spectators spectators and death recap has been moved to R and why to, why did I die? That is pretty good. Um, so now there's 47 new voice commands. So this is going to be trolltastic. I enjoy it thoroughly. Arena now only starts with 1,500 gold. So you can't buy everything you want. You can't buy that level 2 warrior tabbies and an executioner right off the bat. So it's, it's a good change, I do believe. And there's now a quick cast button. So you don't have to hit, you know, 2 and then left click or 3 and left click. You just automatically set this and your abilities will fire immediately upon releasing the abilities button when the ability present is pressed you can still see and adjust the ground target so very interesting i think this is going to be pretty pretty good and so guys here's another big change all abilities now on a 90 second cooldown all abilities priced at 600 gold so guys if in the beginning this is going to be really powerful if you start off with the creeping curse that's an automatic oh wait and this part here passive portion of all store abilities is now always on. So if you start off with a passive uh, like Creeping Curse, 10% slow all the time. That's on all the time. You don't have to like trigger your thing. Uh, Hand of Gods, you're always going to get that Life Steal. And Meditation, you're always going to get that Mana Regen. So I think Meditation right now is going to be one of the strongest. Creeping Curse is definitely going to be strongest. Um, and Purification Beads, you get a 20% passive cooldown reduction. And if you're going with Tank Boots, Reinforced Boots, and you get Puri Beads, you're not going to be stunned worth anything. Uh, two second stuns, no problem. You just walk out after half like... It seems like one second, but it's like it's only it's so quick that it's like half a second. You won't even notice. And Heavenly Agility no longer stacks, and that is a very good thing. And they removed two of their newest skills, which are completely useless. Turn minions. If you use this in Arena, you would actually hurt yourself because the enemy would just kill the minions and get extra points. So, not good. <laughs> <laughs> so, the guys, they removed Magnus Boost. Sorry, this is quite a long patch. This is actually pretty extensive. They removed Staff of Mana, worthless skill, worthless item, excuse me, and Silver Fox Girl. I really, really like this item for tanks, but again, it was really strong, really OP, and Midas Boots was actually really OP in the term that if you were using Midas Boots, you were probably really, really good, and you were going to stomp them anyways. And so by using Midas Boots, you're stomping them, and now you're getting more gold and more XP for stomping the other guy. This was a troll item. If you were in competitive play, it was really hard to start with Midas Boots because the benefits just did not outweigh what you got. And so I 
don't I don't know. So I think this was more of a troll item, you know, to finish your matches quicker if you are OP and you know you just stomp the other guy. But let's see. And so all the boots are now only 700 gold. So guys, if you purchase rank one boots and you purchase ability, that's 1300 gold. And guys, that's four pots you can buy right off the bat. And guys, that's going to be OP. That's going to really sustain the early game. There's no risk and reward in the early game. You just pop a health pot, and if you run out of health pots, you just go back to base. Um, and this is going to be really really you know tough to counter i think they should really keep the abilities at 700 and the boots at 750 that way you only get one pot and you have to determine well i can take some tower damage now and i can get another health pot or i can give the enemy a kill and they might take my tower still so it's a gonna be a very good trade-off item ink of golem my favorite physical damage and physical lifesteal item is removed the physical lifesteal has been removed the physical protection was added instead this Ank of Golem was one of the, it was, it was like the quadrifecta of attack damage because you have your lifesteal, your attack damage, your health, and your attack power. Um, I think I said attack damage, but I meant attack speed. So you had your, your four skills that you ever wanted for a physical, and so that's why I was so strong. Gauntlet of Thieves getting massively nerfed as well, especially since they took out the Silver Fox Girl. And this Wall of Absolution is going to be really powerful now. So they removed the mana, and now they're adding magical power. And if you don't know what this item is, if you get hit wearing this item, you lower the magical protection of your enemy by 10. So if you get attacked with three basic attacks, you can just flip around and do massive amounts of magical power damage because they're going to have minus three magical protection to them and that is significant and guys this is going to also change up the jungle game fire giant and gold fury has changed so they escalate every minute health increases by 130 every minute and physical protections increased from 25 to 100 magical protection increased from 25 to 50 so you can't you you probably still can but it's going to be harder to solo the fire giant at like level 15. I could go with in here with the full ink and with, you know, executioner with warrior tabbies and maybe with a heart seeker. And I'm, I'm probably level 15 or 16 and I could just solo the, uh, the fire giant while, you know, four of my teammates kind of guards the outside and they won't even know if I'm really killing it or anything. And, it was very, very strong. So now that the physical protection at is at 100, I really do support it. And guys, the starting health is 7,000. So you can actually go for an earlier Fire Giant Rush. And that is going to be tougher with the extra physical protection. But guys, here's a crazy change. Gold Fury now starts at 3,500 health. And why is this crazy? Because you can now take Gold Fury at level 1. And if you had a really good team and the enemy was kind of unaware of what you were doing, you could kind of lay 5 eggs with Arachne and sometimes take it if you had maybe like 4 Hands of Gods and 1 Girdle of Might. And that way, you know, you could bust out 7,000 damage. But if you guys get 5 guys on your team to get, you know, the Hand of Gods, that's 3,000 damage all on the Gold Fury. And you just need to crank out 500 damage. And guys, that's, that's easy. You all launch, you know, your level 1 skill. That's probably around 300 maybe 400 damage depending on if it's over time like if it's Al Quang he's gonna do so much damage and then you know you just smack him in the face like three or four times and then Gold Fury's down 1,500 gold lead in the beginning so this is really gonna change early gameplay to see if you're gonna make a ploy for the, for the Gold Fury and I do believe that's gonna be very interesting and again so let's go back to this nerfs guys this is gonna be huge important I think it's gonna change the game that we're playing in some senses but not completely because they nerfed and buffed the wrong things of wrong people. So guys, let's look. And here he gets a um, movement speed decrease um, has been reduced from blah, 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 to blah, 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 to 40 to 21% and level 5. So it's about half of what it is now. And why I think this is not going to matter. The shifting sands, the slow, is kind of what made Ant here strong. But it's more the stuns and the jump. So even if you remove the slow completely, I think Anhir would be so strong. And here's the jump. The cooldown has been increased from 13 to 15 seconds. So if you were a smart Anhir player, you were not using number three to jump in. You were using one and two, you know, to kind of slow and then maybe get a lucky pin off. And the only time you would use number three is to really jump away or to jump in to get that last kill maybe with your ulti. And so this is not really going to affect N here too much. And I think if you're dominant with N here right now, you're still going to be dominant with N here after the patch. Ares, however, is getting a huge nerf. So his magical power bonus lowered his base protections lowered, his bonus protections from Shackle lowered, cooldowns increased. So guys, crazy. So his Shackles are still going to be doing 
the same amount of damage. And that's actually what made Ares really strong is that his shackles at level 1, if you get 3 shackles off, that can be anywhere from like 100 to like 300 damage, depending on if you can get punches off, and usually you can. So by the time you do one set of shackles for 70 mana, you've already lowered their HP by 200, 300. And at level 1, that's over half your health. So that's what made Ares really strong. And here's number 4, no escape. His ultimate was the second thing that made Ares really strong. And now when using his ultimate, Ares will move 50% slower. So now you can no longer like jump the enemy's tower and then, you know, just bring him back all the way halfway across the map to your base. You actually have to, you know, kind of have your team with you now. And so if you're going to want to use your ulti, your team is going to have to kind of coordinate and move with you. It's not going to be a big change, but I think it is a very substantial one. And if you were a great Ares player before, you're going to be a little bit frustrated, but you're still most likely going to be a great Ares player after the patch and Artemis gets a little buff oops sorry I kind of okay there we go Artemis gets buff her boar has increased her health which was much needed because I would just be able to like furious monkey or like even spear that thing when it first came out so or you know ulti it as people were killing or, or stunning someone but very good change but guys here is the crazy thing Artemis is immune to crowd control for the duration of the ability so now she can pop her boar and escape so if she's getting you know attacked by a Hades and she's getting ulti she can now counter ulti you won't stun the enemy if it's a Hades or an Ares but then she's going to be immune to crowd control so she won't be pulled I think well she might still be pulled by Ares I'm gonna have to try this out after the patch but either way she's no longer going to be slow she's no longer going to be stunned and that was actually a really big part of her not being able to escape so Loki actually got a buff. It's rather a fix, but it is a buff. So now his decoy is now properly scaling off physical power. So it's going to be doing much more damage now, and he's going to be able to kill the minion lines so much more easily. Good, as if Loki needed another buff. And so Sung Wukong finally getting a nerf here. His Furious Monkey is getting reduced from 110% to 70% per hit. It's not a big change because when you're starting out, the Furious Monkey does so much damage to start off. So this is going to be a non-factor I believe it's still going to do massive amounts of damage you're still going to be able to destroy if you get that double bonk off the enemy's still going to have less than half health especially at level one and guys here is the biggest change Molnir's attunement so now at any time during the hammer's path pressing one again will teleport Thor to his hammer Thor is going to have a hammer flash and I did release a video about this earlier about the hammer flash and um, I thought it was actually going to be a flash ability, but I'm so glad it is not. I'm glad that it is just Thor, and th but this is going to make Thor incredibly overpowered because if you're really skilled with him, this is going to really increase the skill cap. You can get a double hit off with that Moldier's Tombment, and when the hammer is on its way back, and after you get that second hit, guess what? You hit one, and then you instantly spin to win, and you can maybe take down the enemy down to either 75 or even kill the enemy completely because Thor does so much damage. You can even throw the hammer behind the enemy maybe only get one hit off or if you miss just teleport to it throw down that fissure right behind them and then spin to win and hopefully your teammate if he's an in here he can throw a spear pin him to that wall if he's a mirror he can freeze him you know throw down some glacial spikes the guy's dead so guys this is going to really really increase thor's um thor's ability to play and i mean there were some great players like shin could play thor like a boss he would ulti or kind of jungle behind the guy and if you wanted to escape you're gonna have to run right through thor and you know that you can't run right through the Thor because as soon as you jump try to jump over him or you try to kind of go um around him he's gonna spin to win and he's gonna double bonk you with that hammer and that is just gonna do over 75 percent of your health so guys that is all for the changes very significant changes i think the most things that I won't like is the abilities on 90 second cooldown. Meditation on 90 seconds is going to be overpowered. Mark my words. It's going to be very strong. Use it. Use it if you can. And what else is going to be strong? Oh, the ban is stupid. I think it should be only ranked matches. Uh, and here nerf. I think Thor is going to be very strong. I think Bacchus is going to be very strong. But guys, these are only theory crafting from what I have, from what information they release. So um, we will see how these guys play, how these gods are strong, if they are really strong. But you can expect that as soon as Bacchus comes out, we are going to be playing with him all day. So guys, expect more content soon and as, as always thank you so much for watching i'm really sorry that this video is so long but as always if you like the content if you found this informational leave a like comment below and guys peace love ninja people another ninja signing out bye bye guys